snow was falling. It covered the palace and drifted onto the ebony windowsill where the queen sat at the open window, busy at her embroidery. She glanced at the snowflakes and, distracted by their beauty, accidentally pricked her finger. A spot of red blood dropped onto the soft white snow. Oh, how I wish I had a daughter. With hair as black as this ebony windowsill, with lips as red as blood, and with skin as soft and white as the newly fallen snow, she said quietly to herself. By the following summer, her wish had come true. The queen held in her arms a beautiful baby princess with hair as black as ebony, lips as red as blood, and skin as soft and white as the newly fallen snow. She named her Snow White. And she grew to be the kindest, prettiest girl in the kingdom. We have a very beautiful daughter. Her hair is black as the ebony window. Her lips are red as blood, and her skin is as soft and white as the snow. She will be pretty when she grows up. Well, there's plenty of time for her to grow up. We need to give our baby a name first. There are a couple of names I can think of, but if we put our heads together, we could come up with a beautiful name for our daughter. How about Sweetheart? It's a beautiful name. No, we need an unusual name. How about Rose? No, almost everybody in the kingdom named their daughters Rose. Hmm. Snow White. Snow White. I love it. Finally, we have found an amazing name for our princess. Nice. I have to go now. I have a lot of work to do. All right. I need to sew a dress for my baby. She will always wear the prettiest outfits. Can you please play with Snow White until I'm done? Thank you. You are really a good babysitter. I just finished her dress. Let's try it on. Let's try on the blue outfit. Very well. It's exactly what we need. Okay, it's time to sleep. Can you help me put the baby in the cradle? Good night, my little princess. Sadly. The queen became ill and died. The king was heartbroken, but after a while, he fell under the spell of a very beautiful enchantress and married her. He did not know how jealous, vain, and wicked she was. Every day, she would gaze into her magic mirror and ask, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the most beautiful woman of all?" The mirror would reply, "Of all the women that were ever seen, you." Are the most beautiful, dear queen. This made the vain queen happy. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest in the world? Of all the women in the world. What happened? The mirror is broken. We need to connect the crystals to make the mirror come back to life.
Now the mirror is as good as new. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the most beautiful woman of all? I've been mended, but all my reflections got mixed up. Can you find Snow White among them? This is Cinderella. She is kind and hardworking, but she is not in our story. This is Sleeping Beauty, who's waiting for a prince. We don't need her. This is the Jealous Queen. She is more evil than beautiful. This is Snow White. Of all the women that were ever seen, Snow White is the fairest, dear Queen. It is impossible, Huntsman. Your Majesty. Take Snow White into the forest. Tie her up to a tree and leave her there. But Your Majesty. No buts. If you disobey me, you will lose your head. All right, as you say. Your Majesty, the Queen hated Snow White because she was pretty. Then one morning, the magic mirror replied, "Of all the women that were ever seen, Snow White is the most beautiful, dear Queen." This made the Queen very jealous. She called for her huntsman. Take Snow White into the forest and leave her there, tied to a tree. The huntsman was afraid of the queen, and so he set out to do as she had ordered. Where are you taking me? Asked Little Snow White. To the forest to see the animals. Replied the huntsman. When they were deep in the forest, the huntsman turned to Snow White, saying, "The wicked queen wants me to tie you to a tree and leave you here to die. But don't be afraid." I won't harm you. Snow White looked at him with tears in her eyes. Run away, dear Snow White, and never return. He told her. He then left Snow White alone in the forest and rode back to the palace. Snow White ran far into the forest until night fell. Frightened and tired, she lay down on a bank of sleeping primroses. A family of wild rabbits came and snuggled up to her to keep her warm, and she fell fast asleep. I'm so sorry, Snow White. I'll be leaving you here. Don't return to the palace, or the Queen will punish both of us. Goodbye, and thank you for sparing me. Now I'm alone in this deep and dark forest. How do I get out of here? I will help you get out of this thicket. Follow me. Who is it? I can't see anyone. Can you see anybody? Where should I go next? I know the way. Follow me. So, where should I go now? I'll take you to the kind dwarfs. Their house isn't far away. Let's go. Look, this is a cottage. I hope someone could help me there. I want to thank the animals for their help. Can you help me find the animals? Thank you very much, dear. My pleasure, Snow White. Thank you very much, Rabbit. You are welcome, Snow White. Thank you so much, Squirrel. I'm always happy to help. And thank you, kids, for helping me.